Hello everyone, Neff here. And you might be wondering, Neff, what is this game? Well, that's a good question. Well, actually, this is an interesting game because this is my game. This is something I've been working on for a while. And so, yeah. So, pretty much made from scratch in just like OpenGL and C. And yeah, I mean, as you can see, immediately it looks like Minecraft. But of course, this will be different when it's done, when it's finally done, <laughs> whenever that is. But I just wanted to show it off. This is kind of the first time where there's something to actually show off. And we can actually go with third person here. And that's our guy. As you can see, we're currently just two blocks, because that makes sense. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I'm just testing out right now the world generator and that sort of thing. So right now we just have kind of a world around us. We can break blocks, we can place them, and pick them up and do all sorts. And so yeah. But actually, as I said, this will be quite a different game from Minecraft when it's done. For one thing, this world you see here, you notice it's kind of like this kind of like green, kind of jungly world. The important thing about this game is that it will be space-based. So, in other words, there won't be just one planet you go to. There will be many, 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 indeed. So, for example, this was just like kind of a grassy, kind of like normal world. But the great thing is the way I did these checks, yeah, pardon me, textures is that they're not just plain textures. Like, this grass and dirt, that's not a green texture. It's actually grey, and I tint it as I need to. What that means is that I can make the planet pretty much any colour I want to. And I will show you an example of that now. And all of a sudden everything is blue. Indeed. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, this is the same world, but now it's colored blue. And it's the exact same textures, I've just changed the... It's basically just one line of code changes the colors, so it's pretty good. And that took ages to get working, but yeah, now it works, and it's awesome. Because as I said, the point of this game is that you'll be able to build a ship, hop in, go into space, and eventually make it to a different world that looks something like this. And also the different planets will have different gravity and that sort of thing, and yeah, it'll be all swanky and stuff. So this is a blue one, let's try another one. And everything is yellow! Indeed. <laughs> so this is yet another one. This one I actually kind of like. Just went for kind of a random different um, colour set here. One thing I will say is, I know the dirt texture looks weird. I don't really like it myself, but it's just a placeholder for now. I like how the grass came out though. And the trees look terrible. Yeah, I know. It'll be fixed. <laughs> but for now it's all very basic. And if I dig down here... You'll see that the rock is down there. But yeah, so I mean, it actually, it took a while to get the engine to this point, as you can imagine. But now that it is, I can kind of add fun stuff and it should be interesting, indeed. I mean, currently there is no sky. <laughs> it's just void around us. In fact, if I go back, yeah, you can see it's just like pure void. But that will change. I need to optimize and stuff first. And yeah, and actually, the cool thing about this concept is, because I have different planets, I can have different... Like, not just different colors for them, but actually they'll have different materials and that sort of things. Plus, I mean, like, basic things like gravity. I mean, here the gravity is pretty low, as you can see. But I can change that per planet if I want to. And all sorts of mad stuff. So, yes. In fact, I'm planning on making this game... Like, that whole theme of things being randomly generated and being all sorts of madness. That'll kind of continue through all of the different planets. So, I mean, like, if you go to a world like this, it'll have a totally different set of mobs than the last one. Which should be interesting. And actually, I think I have more worlds here. Hang on. And yes, this one is kind of like a silvery blue world. But as you can see, it's the exact same world we're loading every single time. But every time it has different textures and it looks totally different. This one looks kind of eerie, I guess. In fact, I think I changed the gravity on this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we have kind of a massive high jump. Now obviously, on a planet with no gravity like this, you wouldn't really have trees. But I mean, this is just a test. Oh, and actually... One thing to note, the physics are only very basic at the moment, so that's why I just moved through that tree there. So, ignore that. <laughs> I just put the physics in like yesterday and wow, big jump. <laughs> you just go for ages. But yeah. So like collision works, um, physics are basically in. Um, I don't really have a block system right now, so it's kind of funny the way I implemented this, but that will be changed soon. I do have entities in yet, I just haven't added any. I only have the player, but I have like a full system for them. So yeah. Pretty much all the basic stuff is done, and actually, I have this mad system for dynamic cameras I'll probably never use. I actually can make a fly camera, but I didn't really bother to put it in this demo, but, you know. And yeah. By the way, guys, that's it for now. I just want to show this off, kind of let you see what it's all about. And now that I shift something to show off, that'll be cool. But yeah, so I'll be working on this for a while, and actually, as I'll be working on this, I'll be making new videos, just kind of show it off in its current state, what's happening and that sort of thing. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions or want to ask any questions, just leave them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. And you know what it is, that's I might get around to it eventually. <laughs> but anyway, 
that's all for now. Just kind of wanted to show this off in case my computer crashes and I lose all my code. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, guys. And good day!